What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at, well, not this. This is actually a sound bar by Axcano that we looked at a while back. And uh, it's a pretty decent little sound bar. You know, it's a little small. We need something a little bigger. So, Axcano sent us their new upgraded one. Now this one is a 40 watt, this is a 20 watt. Get this out of the way. This is the, the new version. I'm hoping uh, the remote is better. Um, it's definitely gonna be bigger, that's for sure. And now this one is a 33 inch sound bar. All right, we got a bat, ooh, a new fancy controller too. And more cables, power, sound, there we go. All right, get that out of here. Comes with an optical cable, a power adapter, basic power adapter, and a bag with goodies. Instruction manual. We got a 3.5 millimeter cable, basic RCA cables, and then you actually have a mounting kit. You know, two screws and a couple drywall uh, anchors, and then the remote. Now, this remote is definitely different from the other one. They made it look like it's brushed aluminum. It isn't, though. It's it's just plastic. You got your power, Bluetooth, line in, optical, auxiliary, treble down, treble up, bass down, bass up, volume, play, pause, mute, previous and next, music, dialogue, and movie. These three right here, these are for your presets for the equalizer. If you're listening to music, you switch it to that and it's gonna be geared more toward music, maybe watching a documentary, you go to dialogue and then a, a movie will give you that more cinematic bass and, 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 and intense sound. And conveniently, it came with batteries. Nice, I don't have to get my own. Now the speaker itself. It definitely feels heavier than the original. It's clearly a little bit bigger. Open, ow, that hurt. Ooh, oh yeah, oh that's clean looking. Hey, that's not bad at all. Oh yeah, you can see the drivers in there. It's definitely made out of a better material than the original. Here, let's get a comparison of the size. Oh yeah, definitely a difference in size. Definitely a difference in the quality that they've used here. So like in the first one, they've got this cloth this is a real grill. It's got their got the name right in the front. And it's got some weight to it. This definitely doesn't feel cheap. The other one did kind of feel cheap. On the back, you've got your optical in, your left and right auxiliary in, and your DC in for your power. And then you have two spots uh, for mounting. So on the side, you've got your power source, volume up and down, pair, and your line in. All right, so I got the power on. Power on. Power on, there we go. Okay. After we test this out here, I am gonna go set it up on a stand with a TV and I'm gonna check the distance of this to make sure that it's not just three feet. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they definitely improve that. It's not bad. That doesn't sound bad at all. Let's try a little bass boosted. Now I'm gonna turn the bass down. Oh. oh crap, I just turned it off. That's got a nice punch! Am I yelling? That sounds pretty good. Um, okay, well let's try let's try quality. Let's go with good mythical morning. As usual, all of my good mythical beasts out there. For you to watch and comment on along with other mythical beasts, so it's- And I will say that the uh, treble in the bass adjustment are great. So far, what I've been doing is just putting it on music and then adjusting the bass and treble the way I want it. Man, that's got such good sound. All right, I'm gonna do a distance check. I'm gonna take my phone with me and we'll see how long it takes to cut out. I'll be back. Okay, all right, well I got about 30 feet and then it started crackling. Let's take it in the other room. We're gonna set this thing up and actually see what it's like in a full-size room and check the distance on this thing. Let's go do this. Okay, so uh, minus any kind of echo you guys may hear in here, uh, we're gonna test it out and uh, I got plugged into my TV and uh, yeah, we're gonna try it out with the different mode, so let's go. Oh, and I tested out, oh, whoa. And I tested out the remote can you guys see me? And I tested out the remote. Um, I, I, the amount of room that I have right here, um, I got about 15 feet and it seemed to be functioning pretty good. All right, now let's test this out. Okay, so the first mode we're gonna try, we're gonna go put it on the music mode. All right, I'm gonna crank it up. All right, so this is all the way up now. 
the movie mode is the one that actually cranks up the bass and the treble. There we go. That's pretty good. The sound in here sounds really good. It's, it's really filling the whole room up. I'm gonna use just the TV speakers and then I'm gonna switch it over to the sound bar. Just see how it sounds. Okay, let's go. Okay, so there's the TV. That's the TV by itself. And now the speaker. Okay, so yeah, it sounds way better than the TV speakers themselves. I'm gonna look for something theatrical. Here we go. You're in this life for good. You might wanna buckle up, baby. All right, that's pretty theatrical. It's pretty good. The volume, the level of volume on this is actually really good. I'm surprised at how loud this thing is getting. The Legato Arc. Now, as you can tell, I've got a couple extra, well, a few extra pairs here. So stick around at the end of the video because I'm going to be giving these away. So with music, it sounded pretty good. I got to say, I, I'm actually enjoying it. It does have a little lack in bass, but overall, it's actually pretty good. It projects sound really well. The volume level gets up to be a little ear piercing, so you, you have room to play. Watching a, like a theatrical trailer was pretty decent. The thing that it's missing again is bass. You know, it just needs some more bass. But it is very clear. It sounds really good. Um, listening to me, I can definitely tell you I have more bass in my voice than what these speakers were actually being able to project. So, um, you know, it could be a good thing, I guess, depending on if you know your taste. But you can definitely tell comparing the TV speakers to the sound bar that it was a definite improvement. So, if you want to improve your existing TV without breaking the bank and getting like a big huge sound system or a real expensive sound bar, this is not a bad way to go. All right guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. As usual, you guys know what to do. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here.